it has finally come and we are going to be adding some accessories to the Jeep. And no, the bumper is not here yet, so that is not going to be in this video. One of them is super practical, even though it seems like you're just adding a graphic. But it has a purpose, and I promise you, once you, once you own a vehicle and go off-roading, you probably will understand where we're coming from. So these are the accessories we're gonna install today. We have three of them, and I'm gonna turn it around, and we're gonna show them to you. So our first graphic that we're gonna add to the Jeep is this one. It looks a little funny now, doesn't it? Well, if you take a look at the Mojave, it has a hood scoop. So this graphic is designed to fit around the hood scoop. And so, why is this practical? If you've ever gone off-roading, you know that sometimes at certain angles, sometimes the sun can really reflect off of your hood. And that is one of the main problems that we've had with most of our off-road vehicles, even the Tacoma. The Tacomas all have had that issue. And so we've always added graphics to the top of the hood at a bare minimum. Next thing we're gonna be installing today are these door sill protectors. And one of the common things that at least I have found being short, getting in and out of a Jeep can be a little bit more difficult. And the, the door sills are very slick. And so our last one is just for funsies because who doesn't like to go the callback to Jurassic Park and the Jeep scene? Finished cleaning the whole Jeep. Well, the pieces that I'm working on today. And the next step after you get things cleaned up is you're gonna want to do the fitment of your sticker and you're also going to want to adhere it with about some painter's tape or masking tape of some sort before you start peeling the graphic. It's really important, unless you are a professional, just don't peel the whole backing off at the same time. I found that, that sometimes that can lead to mistakes and you can ruin a whole graphic that way. So especially since today, since we're doing the dry method, um, this one I'm gonna be extra careful with and we're gonna take you along. So the first thing I'm gonna do is is get this sticker placed where it should go. So since we have the one with the cutouts, as you can see here, we, those will go right over the hood, uh, the window latches. So this one's a little bit easier to place than some of them. So as you can see here, it's kind of hard to see, but it's got the cut out perfectly for the hood scoop. So I'm gonna just feel and make sure that that looks right. And it does. Let's get this process moving along now, shall we? We're gonna move this along and do it as fast as humanly possible to show you what you want to see. So here I'm just gonna be taping down the graphic, which I've done several times before. And this one, I will tell you, is a little bit trickier than some of the Tacoma ones that we have installed in the past. But once it's taped, you get to move the next step. Let's move along. Step three is actually going to be getting your tool that you're going to be using. You could use a credit card with a little bit of fabric. A lot of these decals, when you buy them, come with a tool. So this one came with this little tool here, and I am going to use it to, to push the graphic firmly into place and adhere it to the vehicle. Now let's be honest that this is probably the most nerve wracking part of the experience with the decal. You're gonna take the backing off and you're gonna be afraid you're gonna mess up because most likely you probably will. But before you push it firmly in place, you can catch it and do some pulling and be careful how much you pull depending on what kind of vinyl you have, yada yada yada. But what we learned with this graphic is it doesn't like to be pulled at all. Once that was quickly found out because it would misshape we were able to get the graphic partially installed. Unlike other graphics we featured on this channel in the past, this one was actually better to split halfway in between. Normally I like to start on the top and work my way to the bottom on a graphic, but that one wasn't going to have it on this one. So what I did is I started from the middle, where the window latches were, and quickly worked my way up towards the top, and don't worry if you see any bubbling, those will come out just fine. And what you want to do here is as you're confident, push down, get those bubbles moved out of the way, and if you're not confident in that, you know, you can always readjust as needed. A little bit of wrinkling is fine. It's gonna come out as long as you work it appropriately. And what does that mean? I don't really know. You just do it by experience, I guess. Mess a few up and then you'll figure it out. After finishing this top section here quickly, I eventually moved down to the bottom part of the graphic or about the middle part, as you can see. If you decide to install this graphic, honestly, the top part of the graphic is the hardest part. Once you get to this section, you'll just quickly start moving it down. It lays really nicely and you'll eventually get to that Mojave scoop, which might require you to get some scissors depending on your ability level or if you just want to do it 
Without removing the backing, it's really not too difficult whatever you decide. I decided to leave it on the backing because it made it a lot easier for the alignment with the scoop. So as you guys can see, we are about three quarters of the way there after we had to do our pivot. It's looking pretty good. We do have a few little bubbles here and there, but those will settle out and I'll give you all to get those out over the next little bit. But honestly, so far it's looking good. So once you get down to this part, as you can see here, you're gonna wanna make sure that line and these line up. So I'm gonna work them each little bit and then we'll work on this final piece here. Earlier I mentioned that I was gonna leave this piece on. That was the original plan, but then I decided to give it a cut because it was a lot easier to see where those end pieces of the top sticker needed to end. But quickly, it was easy to get the alignment since the hood scoop has that nice line at the bottom there. So if you've never done a graphic before, honestly, it's something you shouldn't be afraid of. You just work it piece by piece at a time. As they say, if you eat, how do you eat an elephant? You eat it one piece at a time, and that's exactly how you want to apply a decal like this. Honestly, working this sticker on once I realized how to do it was not that big of a problem. And honestly, the look of the Mojave sticker for our friend is gonna be amazing on his Jeep. Installed after many, many, after failing one attempt and then having to modify my plan, it, I think it looks pretty good. Well, here we'll show it to you. That does look good. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I will say I'm not disappointed. So you can see it's got those really cool topography lines on it. And we really liked it because it came with orange because the Mojave sticker is an orange. And we wanted to do something a little different than our normal mountain theme that we did. And I think this turned out really good. Also so I'm excited. Bed. Sill protectors are great because they keep you from falling on your behind when you're getting out of the Jeep because the door sills are surprisingly slick. <laughs> And this will just also offer some protection for those sills so that you're not tearing them up if you're getting in and out with mud on your feet. So we're gonna show you how to do those really quick. It's really simple and it like takes five minutes after you're done cleaning it. So I've cleaned this already. And so we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. Here is my door sill. It is not adhered yet. But as you can see, you gotta make, before you install it, you wanna make sure that this doesn't wiggle up and down to make sure that you have proper adhesion to your door sill. So as you can see here, you can move it. If I move it too far, it'll wiggle. If I move it this way too much, it definitely doesn't fit. So each one of them, you're just gonna wanna sit and try to get them fitted correctly. And now I'm gonna take the backing off. So my door sill fits pretty well right here. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna peel the backing. And then once you go to place it, that's, that's it. It is what it is. So let's not screw it up. Once I got it placed, I'm gonna push. Push with all your might because by golly, why not? You don't want those things to come off. You want them there forever. And now that's nice and installed and I'm not gonna show the rest of them, but I'm gonna go get the rest of them installed really quick and then I'll show you how to install a cool T-Rex. Now I'm on the interior of the Jeep and I'm gonna try to show you how to install this awesome dinosaur because everyone needs one on their Jeep, because why not? So, because it's a T-Rex so at it's Jurassic like Park. <laughs> we're call back to Jurassic Park. Yeah, so we're gonna show you how to install me. that. We're gonna try, I'm gonna try to do this while videoing. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna try to place the dinosaur right about over here. Probably gonna have to put the camera down because I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it with my arm. Oh, maybe. No, no, don't mess it up. Here. I don't mess it up. He's too cute to mess up. So hold on, we'll get back to you and show you the end results. So I've got him placed, but I need to still firmly push him on. So with these ones, these are like sticker transfers. So you want to kind of push on them. So like satch squatches, all kinds of different ones, uh, UFOs. <laughs> so if you don't like the T-Rex, you can always customize your own. So now I'm gonna peel off this plastic. Now that he's nice and thick. I know the video quality on this is not great, but you know. <laughs> and then, ho oh, oh. ho, voila. That is it for today's video. I know some accessories, these aren't like your super like, oh, we lifted our Jeep today accessories, but these are kind of some more practical ones that you can do in an afternoon from your garage without much expertise. The sticker is probably the hardest one to do, but that's just because you have to have patience 
and and yeah a lot of patience i would say <laughs> no technical skill just patience patience and 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 using an eye for detail is probably what you need for that the rest of them they took me like the dinosaur took me two minutes maybe and that's because i was filming you could probably put that on in about 30 seconds as far as the cells took about maybe two to three minutes this decal took probably about an hour to do um just because when you are doing something like that you want to make sure that you're being as perfect as possible but i think it turned out pretty good so next time we have some more accessories we will definitely be sharing with you they have we have more coming here in a few days so there will be another video with some of the other accessories so we'll have another video coming here soon if you like videos like these or just like to follow us in general please like subscribe and share with your friends it really helps out our channel and it costs you nothing so hopefully we'll see you out there on the trail soon. Bye-bye for now.